Hey everybody, Allie Craig here, and on this week's episode of Profit, we are talking about how to launch an offer. Now the truth is that a launch cycle, especially if we're doing it where cart opens, cart closes, is way more intensive than what we can really get into right now in this moment. But let's just talk about what's the strategy of a launch anyway? Are those kind of antiquated launches something that's smart, or should we be considering a little old school approach like the product rollout? The truth is in today's society, when it comes to social media and the buzz, there's two approaches you can easily take. You can take the launch cycle approach where you're building the buzz. You're like, you're building with marketing ads, you're building with campaign teasers of you want it, you want this, like here's a secret, here's the inside scoop kind of thing. So almost like Amazon Black Friday sales. You know how all the Black Friday sales accidentally get leaked? It's no accident, people. That's kind of like modern launching a day. You have to accidentally leak your sales and hope you have enough of an audience who actually cares. So then when the day comes, aka your version of Black Friday, you can really, you know, make massive profit quick and fast. The other way of doing this is the old school way of doing this, which is the product rollout launch. You know, think about when you were growing up, a new product would hit the market and you just kind of like accidentally discover it one day. All of a sudden you're walking down the grocery aisle and you're like, oh, look, there's a new version of the Oreo. Or you find a coupon for it, or you see a flyer for it in that big bulk of flyer ads that come in the mails. What does that mean for your business or brand? Because it's most likely online and not sitting on a grocery store shelf. It means that you have offers there waiting. You're not necessarily making this huge announcement to the world. Once it's up and it's live, you're not pre-selling it, you're not pre-teasing about it, you're creating it in your private little area, you put it out there, and then once it's out there, you then begin to tell people about it, you begin to tell your audience about it, you begin to really share about it. But it's always there. There is no time frame. there is no specialness, and yes, does that make it on some level, you don't get that instant burst of income? Of course, because people feel like it's always there that they can get it. But here's the thing, it's always there so they can always get you. So then there's no more excuses on for your audience to say, oh, well, you closed your cart and it's not gonna reopen for another year or six months, so I guess I'll just find another solution. You are always there to be the solution. So launching and how you launch is really, it's a strategy and you really need to know what that means to your income, what that means to your client experience, and what that means to the impact of your work and what you want for your brand in the end. Those questions really begin to dictate how you launch, when you launch, and more importantly, the impact of your launch.